Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this video is regarding uh, Union Public Service Commission that is UPSC GSI that is Geoscientist exam. Uh, now the notification has been announced and the form filling will start soon. So basically uh, this is the official website of UPSC. You can come here from the link given in the description. You have to go to this examination tab and you can just come little down to this active examination portion. Okay, so just click on this and will be taken to this page where all the active examinations are here. Now the second number is your combined geoscientist preliminary exam 2022. So this is geoscientist 2022 exam. Just click on this and you will be taken to this page. Now here you are given with the basic information that the date of notification is 22nd of uh, uh, September 2021 and the date of commencement of exam is 20th of February 2022. So the exam will be in the month of February. Tentative date is in the month of February 2022. 20th February, right? And it's a one day preliminary exam. Obviously, you know that geoscientist exam is done in two forms. It is preliminary and then mains and then goes your interview uh, part. So right now we will talk about everything which you actually need to know and what the notification talks about. All right. So the last date for the receipt of the application is 12th of October 2021 up till the 6 p.m. of it. So let me discuss about it in detail. So I'll just download the notification. You can download from here from this tab which is notice. Click over here and the notice will be downloaded. I'll directly take it. So here is the notification. I'll, I have highlighted the important things over here. So as it says that uh, this is for the Union Public Service Commission examination notice number 2, uh, 2022 geologist. So GEOL is the code of this exam. If this is a geoscientist exam of the year 2022. Last date of application is 12th of October 2021. Now how to apply? Basically you have to go to this website upsconline.nic.in and over there you have to fill the form in detail and uh, these are few things which you need your photo ID card, your uh, photo, your signature and all those things and you have to fill the form basically. So let's go for the next thing that is what is the last date of submission as I told you it's 12th of October 2021 till 6 p.m. of that. Okay all the basic information are there I'm not going to read everything just the highlighted part just the important part I'll just discuss with you. So the exam will be conducted for two categories. Category one, uh, which is basically the post of uh, for the Geological Survey of India, which comes under Ministry of Mines. And here there are three different uh, like uh, like subjects. One is for the geologist, the other one is for geophysicist, and the other one is for chemist. So our channel is more like it resonates with the chemistry people. So we'll discuss more of the things which are related to chemistry people. Rest of the people like who are geologists or who belong to the geophysicist part, they can read out the other thing. Most of the things in this notification are common for everyone. Okay, except the syllabus. Okay, so for chemistry group A, there are 20 vacancies. So there are 20 posts which are available for chemist group A. Uh, and there is one more uh, like this is the category one job then there is category two job also uh, which is the post for the central groundwater board uh, which comes under the ministry of jal shakti and uh, department of water resources river development and ganga regeneration and uh, there are three again here uh, three post uh, one is for the hydrology uh, scientist position b for hydrology then scientist b for chemical and then scientist b for geophysics so chemistry people have one more vacancy over here as the chemical one, a scientist B chemical. Exam will be same, everything will be same, just there are, these are additional posts or additional vacancies which are there, okay. All right, so this is about the vacancy. So total for chemistry people, there are 20 plus 1, 21 vacancies. Okay, let's come little down. Eligibility condition is like you should have a nationality of India or Nepal or Bhutan or Tibetan refugee you can read about it uh, the next thing is age limit okay the age limit is important over here so you should have a minimum age of 21 years so your age should be more than 21 years and it should be less than 32 years okay as the date of the first month of January so that means they have just made the things very simple over here that he or she must have been born not earlier than 2nd January 1990. So your date of birth should not be before 2nd January 1990 and it should not be after 20, uh, after 1st January 2001. 
तो दोज विच फॉल दैट इज फ्रॉम द थर्ड जनवरी नाइनटीन टू थर्टी फर्स्ट दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड दे ऑल आर एलिजिबल फॉर दिस सो योर डेट ऑफ बर्थ शुड फॉल बिटवीन दीज डेट्स ऑल राइट दिस इज फॉर पोस्ट ए दैट मीन्स द कैटेगरी ए जॉब विच वॉज फॉर द केमिस्ट पीपल अगेन फॉर पोस्ट बी और द साइंटिस्ट बी पोजिशन विच वॉज फॉर हाइड्रोलॉजी केमिकल एंड जियो फिजिक्स फॉर दैम ऑल्सो द सेम थिंग इज देयर ओके uh the similar thing is there and you can see that the eligibility the the age eligibility is same second january 1990 and it should not be later than first january 2001 so that is similar in both of them okay fine as i said uh, these two uh, like uh, these two are the governing agencies geological survey of india which is going to be governing these three exams like geologist group a geophysicist group a and chemist group a whereas central ground water board is going to take care of these three post that is hydrology scientist b scientist b chemical and scientist b geophysics okay so these two ministries are going to divide the post that's what it says basically okay the rest of the things you can read everything is in detail i'll just talk about the important things so save as provided above the age limit prescribed cannot can in no case be relaxed so remember that there is no relaxation in the age limit so your age limit is fixed okay there is no relaxation in the age limit all right uh fine let's come a little down over here now talking about the fee application fees okay that's about the application fees how much you have to pay for the form filling process so accepting female candidates and sc st people and also person with the benchmark disability okay uh, they are exempted from the fees so female candidate they don't have to pay the fees those who belong to sc or st category they don't have to pay the fees then those people who have a benchmark disability they also don't have to pay the fee uh, rest of everyone has to pay a fee of 200 rupees so 200 rupees is the application fees for this particular uh, this particular position okay so if you are willing to fill the form you have to pay 200 rupees as the application fees all right so all okay it has been simplified here that all female candidate and candidate belonging to the scheduled caste scheduled tribe are not required to pay any fee no fee exemption is however available to obc ews candidates and they are required to pay the prescribed full fee full fee means 200 rupees is the fee okay fine how to apply i have already told that you have to go to this website to apply for the form coming a little bit down it says that the candidate applying for the examination should ensure that they fulfill all the eligibility criteria for admission to the examination uh their admission at the at all the stages of the examination for which they have admitted to the commission uh that is pre preliminary exam then mains exam and the personal test or interview will be purely provisional subject to their satisfying uh, the prescribed eligibility condition on the verification at any time before or after the pre exam main exam or the interview if it is found that they does not follow or they does not fall under the eligibility criteria then their candidate candidature may be cancelled that's what it is so you have to make sure that whatever you are providing information is actually correct okay all right there are certain documents which they are asking that these documents you should have uh, when you are filling the form so you should have a certificate of age certificate of educational qualification certificate in support of uh, when you are claiming for any uh, like uh, any uh, like category wise so your category certificate basically uh then uh, your certificate in support of claim of age or fee concession in uh, if any is there then certificate in support of the person with benchmark disability so basically your 10th certificate will be your certificate for age your mark sheets will be your certificate for uh, education or educational qualification and uh, caste certificate if you have if you belong to that then you have to apply that and uh, that's what it is okay uh, and remember that for the submission of the commission along with the detailed application form soon after the declaration of the result the main exam which is likely to be declared in the month of july or august 2022 so uh, these things or these documents you have to give or you have to submit once you qualify the pre exam then you have to submit all these documents okay so before mains exam you have to submit these documents not now so right now you don't need them okay coming a little down over here so last date for application is 12th of october 2021 till 6 pm okay let's talk about the 
pre-exam and how much marks it carries. So for the other subjects you can read, I'll talk about chemistry. So the pre-exam consists of two paper, paper one and paper two. Paper one is for the general studies. It is going to be of two hours and it will be of 100 marks. It will carry all the general science questions. I'll talk about the syllabus also. Then paper two is of chemistry. That is also going to be of two hours and it will carry 300 marks. Total your pre-exam will be of 400 marks. Okay? This is for the exam like this is how much marks and duration it is okay uh, fine the mains exam however will be for the chemist uh, science b uh, for chemist and scientist b means for both of them for category a1 job and category 2 job for both of them for mains we will have three exams paper 1 paper 2 and paper 3 all these three exams will be of 3 3 hours and all these three exams will be of 200 marks total it will be of 600 marks so this is for the mains exam okay previous one was for the pre-exam okay coming little down this is your syllabus so you can read out this is the general studies syllabus so it contains current events that is current affairs then history of india indian history that's what they call it then indian geography world geography and indian geography then your indian polity that means that covers all your six related things then economics and social development then general studies on environmental, ecology, biodiversity and climate change and general sciences. All these things comes under your general studies. Basically, this is the similar syllabus of what UPSC, uh, IES people they prepare for, IES or PCS, what they prepare in the GS part, similar syllabus we have over here as well. Okay, coming to the chemistry syllabus. So basic things are there like chemical periodicity, basically complete chemistry is there. All your inorganic, organic and physical, all of them are going to be. Okay, stage one, this is for stage one that is for the objective type, that means for the pre-exam. So you can read out there are total 12 topics which are given, you can read them out. Okay, so basically your complete uh, MSc level chemistry will be asked, not MSc level. The questions are not actually of the MSc level, they are, they resonate around BSc or 12th level questions. Although they will be very basic, but you have to be quick in answering the questions. Questions are not that difficult, but yet uh, you can check out. I have made some videos for the previous year paper solved. You can check out those videos. Okay, so yeah. Okay, that was for the pre-exam. You can come down for the mains exam as well. Uh, so for mains exam, if you come for the descriptive type, this is the one. For the post of chemist and scientist be chemical stage two that is descriptive that is the mains exam for that you have paper one that will be of inorganic chemistry then you have paper two that will be of physical chemistry and then you have paper three that will be analytical and organic so paper three i showed you right 200 200 200 marks of three papers will be there and this is how the syllabus is uh, divided in all of them Okay, so this is all about the notification rest, all the basic things are there. So I hope that this thing is clear to you that the notification is out. If you are willing for joining or preparing for geoscientist exam, you should be uh, like you should fill the form on time. If you will suggest, I'll make a video on how to form fill, like how to do the form filling process of UPSC geoscientist in detail that I will do step by step process if you guys will tell me in the comments to do I'll definitely do that but for now this is all about this video I hope the things are much clear to you I hope you guys understood it well and if you are preparing for it all the best fill the form and start your preparation with full enthusiasm that's all from my side guys see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye so I teach for CSI Rujisin at category on an academy platform uh, over there, I take free classes as well as paid classes. You can reach out to my profile using the link given in the description of the video. You will find various free courses. Also, there are some paid courses. The paid courses are highly organized. They are regular and they are on the daily basis. So, in case if you are interested and you want to join my paid classes, for that you have to take an academy plus subscription. Uh, you can do that by using my referral code that is n underscore huda. That's my uh, that's my referral code. If you use that referral code, you will get 10% discount on the subscription. Also, you'll get access to join my WhatsApp group along with other plus. So do check out my profile and access all the free classes. Take the benefit of them. So that's it from me.